if you're gonna stop me, you're gonna have to fucking kill me! <laughs> Well, I needed that. See, I've been on the phone all morning with Verizon here in my cell phone carrier, and I ain't got shit worth of service. And I'm a media guy these days. You know, I gotta upload and download to the Instagrams and the YouTubes and do all the funky stuff. So, I don't know, I'm kind of screwed right now. I'm just sitting around. So I figure, you know what, would be better time to whip out the camera and film some bullshit, maybe some outdoor national predictions. Obviously, it's a damn shame I can't ride it. I got the new Screaming Eagle out there. She's plenty legal enough. The Amas and, uh, you know, the MX Sports, they're not ready for your Uncle Ron. And, you know, I think they will be soon. I'm not going to sit here and say a bunch of stuff that's going to piss them off because we want to try to get out there on the gate. But, yeah, it just ain't possible yet. But, you know what? Doesn't mean we still can't talk about it. So, outdoor national season coming up. What, our defending champion? Um, God, it makes me sick. Some freaking smelly French dude out there smoking everybody on a four stroke. That doesn't scream American motocross at all, you know. But good news is that Ellie Tomac realized that, you know what, it wasn't me. It was definitely the bike's fault. The Kawasaki, throw that in the fucking garbage. It's terrible. If you can't beat them, join them. So he joined the team Yamaka with the Dylan Ferrandos. And they're, you know, they're both going to be battling for the title. You know, obviously, Honda, ride red. Everybody knows that. Can't fly without wings. They're looking pretty strong. I mean, Chase Sexton, he just, he has a ton of sex. That's pretty cool. He keeps on crashing, man. He keeps on hitting his head. He's hitting his noggin. He's fast. But, you know, he just can't, can't keep her upright. So, yeah, that's kind of a problem there. I don't really see him being able to push for that championship. And then, you know, you got Ken Roxon on the other hand, who, you know, he may, he may be the fastest guy on the gate. But he's only good for about six or nine rounds before he just decides to you know, blow his whole load and, and pull out of the championship. Let's see, I got I wrote notes down right here too, y'all. See? Look, I can even write. <laughs> Christian Craig to the 450 class. Oh my f***ing God. Imagine that. Christian Craig on a 450. Every summer, he gets on the 450 and starts riding. was like, oh, why is he riding 450s outdoors and not indoors? Let me just preach this to the public people. In Supercross, you race half the field on a 250 class. You have an East Coast and a West Coast, so it makes it very easy. I would say the 250 class, man, pretty gnarly most of the time, especially outdoors. When it comes down to it, Christian Craig realizes that he's like damn near 69 years old, so fuck, I might as well be in the 450 class if I gotta race the whole field. And he'll be on that Yamaka with the Ellie Tomax and the Dylan Ferrandos as well. And then we got KTM, exciting news over at KTM. The Ryan Dungey return, and everybody comes up to me and they're like, hey, well, you know, what's the deal on Ryan Dungey? How do you think he's going to do? You know, you think he's going to score points, maybe get top 10 or whatever? Score points? Top 10? No, we're talking about Ryan f***ing Dungey here. The Dunge. No one beats Mr. Dungey. I mean, look at his track record. The guy has never not been in a title hunt in any championship he's ever raced in. You know, when it comes down to um, Ryan Dundee, I, I think I'm going to have to give him a 69% chance to take this whole championship and take it away from the Dylan Ferrandos. And that's what I'm excited about is because, you know, we got these danged old French trying to take our championship away from us. But, you know, Captain America, Ryan Dungey, he's coming back. He's going to bring the title back to America, I feel like. I feel like KTM brought Dungey back, and they're also bringing Antonio Caroli in from the GPs or the... I think that's how you say his name, Casparoli or something like that, I don't know. But anyways, they're bringing him over from the GPs because they done lost the Cooper Webbs. They done lost the Cooper Webbs in the Supercross series, so they have to have something to talk about. So now they got Antonio Caroli, and they got the Ryan Dundies, and they're going to be going for a championship with those guys, I guess. Motocross the Nation is at Red Bud again this year in America. You know, obviously us Americans, we've been in about a six or nine year drought. We ain't one shit. But guess what? Guess what we got in our back pocket? Guess who's back racing? Mr. Ryan Dundee himself, Captain America. That guy does not lose at Motocross the Nation. 
so maybe that's something that they pulled out of their back. I mean, like, man, we're going to get Dungey out there for the Outdoor National Series so we can win the Motocross of Nations again and be the top country in Motocross. I mean, let's face it, like, he ain't going to let no Dylan Fernando beat him. There ain't no way. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to outdoor season this year. I sure as hell wish I could be out there ripping it up with them guys, but, hey, you know, I'm a fan before anything. I'm a fan of the sport, so I'm going to check it out. You know, um, we can sit here and talk about the 250 class, I guess, but who really f***ing cares? They suck anyways. It should be an eventful outdoor season coming up. I'm excited to watch it. I might as well go out there and uh, do a little bit of dirt biking. <laughs> giveaway on our old Screaming Eagle. We got the new Screaming Eagle. Now we got the older one. I wouldn't call it old. It's not old. It's vintage. But uh, we're giving this away to a lucky fan. I'm gonna give it away on 6-9, my birthday, June 9. Go and hit the link in the description. Sign up. Enter to win. Completely free of charge to sign up. Go in there and uh, enter to win this bad baby. Woo-wee! Promise you won't regret it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs>